Let us now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us approach the Lord, who makes all things new, for the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another, with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, Let's, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely, and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death. And you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. We have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. With the theme, Simbahang Sinodal, Nagkakaisa, Nakikibahagi, at Namignagnibisyon, Kasama si Maria, Ang Birhen ng Lourdes. Our celebration of the Holy Eucharist will be presided by Reverend Father Roque Aristotel Padama of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchin. Please all stand. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. Let us humbly beg the Lord for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of God goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, Rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight of her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out of bread while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down the nether world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung, he, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoptions as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his sons into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord.
Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace and all good, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So as we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, the Lord Jesus, through the Gospel, presents to us how Mary, as member of the Church, also participates in the mission of the Church. Ang tema ng ating pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng mahal na birhin ng Lourdes ay simbahang sinodal, nagkakaisa, nakikibahagi, at nagmimisyon. And the theme of this year's celebration reflects the characteristic of Mary as she visited her cousin Elizabeth. No? Si Maria nakikiisa sa pinagdaraanan ni Elizabeth. No? Matanda na sabing baog. Subalit biglang nagdalang tao. So imagine how the stress is affecting Elizabeth. And now, Mary goes to her and accompanies her in this journey. Nakikiisa si Maria at nakikibahagi. Okay. So, this is the mission of Mary after receiving the good news from the Archangel Gabriel. You will become the mother of Jesus who is the Emmanuel, the Redeemer. The Lord Jesus, Mary does not look at herself, but looks at how she could be of help to her cousin Elizabeth. So Mary indeed exemplifies this mission, this missionary work of the church as she assists Elizabeth at the time of her difficulty. Ito ang paraan ng pagmimisyon ng mahal na Birhing Maria. And her mission continues up to this day, my brothers and sisters. All of us who are here now expressing our prayers to God 
through the intercession of Mary, our Lady of Lourdes, whatever sickness, illness that we are experiencing right now, the Blessed Virgin Mary intercedes for us. Hindi lang sa physical na kagalingan niya tayo ipinagdarasal, but most importantly, she intercedes for us that we be at right relationship with God. So Mary continues her mission. Siya ay miyembro ng simbahan na patuloy na nakikiisa, nakikibahagi sa anumang paglalakbay na ating ginagawa. And she continues her mission by praying for all of us. So it's important, brothers and sisters, that we unite our prayers, ang ating mga pagpapasalamat at pagpupuri sa Diyos sa dasal sa awit ng mahal na Birhing Maria. Together with her, we say, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Amen. Please all stand. So now, brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, with faith and devotion, we now lift up our prayers to the Lord as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the church, Pope Francis, Onesto our bishop, and all our bishops, priests, and religious that in the spirit of Mary's piety, they may continue to be faithful in their pastoral care of the whole church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of our nation, that they may follow Mary's motherly love and become instruments of peace by building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those tormented by pain and suffering, that they may bear their crosses bravely when no immediate relief is available. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered in this Eucharistic banquet, that through the help and intercession of Mary, 
we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, that they may rejoice forever with our Blessed Mother, our Lady of Lourdes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. All these, Almighty Father, we humbly ask you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Father, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this solemnity of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Father, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Lady of Lourdes, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Now pray as the Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Father, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant your truth, your justice, your peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from error and sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Oculos, ad nos converte. <tose> 